Hey everybody, today we're going to put together a new pen kit from Penn State Industries. It's called the Demonstrator Fountain Pen Kit. And when you see it, you'll know why they named it that. But we're also, we're going to design a blank for it. It's, it's a pen kit that only has um, uh, a, a blank for the top or for the cap. Um, the rest of it, it's a secret. You'll see why here in a minute. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. We're going to design the cap. I'm uh, not going to do a lot of uh, teaching on how we go about doing uh, barrel trimming and all that. Uh, there's other videos for that. Even in my channel, you can search my channel. But uh, today we're going to design the blank. We'll cut the pieces. We'll put the blank together. And then we will assemble this Penn State Demonstrator Fountain Pen Kit. Thanks okay, for so joining us. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a real simple blank. I'm going to make the middle part out of this double dyed green box elder burl and I'm going to put a little separator a quarter inch away and then I'm going to flank with a quarter inch outside here two of this um, it's a black gum burl that came from my mom and dad's land that my dad cut down years and years ago but I'm just going to be hoping that this off white or this cream color will really accent this cream color that's in this box elder burl. I will first cut two one quarter inch sections off of this blank. So I've got a stop block set up right here to give me my quarter inch. Using my segmenting sled if you I haven't seen the video on how I made that. I think there's a couple of videos on me making this. It's very functional for segmenting. So we will cut two quarter inch slices. Now I will cut the remaining of what I need to fill the blank out with this blue box elder burl. See I've got a line marked right there. That's where we'll that's where we'll cut this. To give you kind of a look, this is going to be a gunmetal finished pen, pen kit, so I'm hoping that this gray fiber material will complement the gunmetal finish and then the cream color black gum white ends will complement that. So that's kind of what we're going to be looking at here. So now I'm just going to epoxy this up and then let it dry overnight and then we'll drill it. Okay. Important thing is to really make your epoxy really, really well and put it on all your surfaces.
to re-square it after you clamp it because it wants to slide around. Okay, I've got my 60 degree centering bit in to mark, so I'm ready to drill the blank. I took it out of the clamps and cleaned it up on the sander a little bit. And now we're going to start a centering hole. That will help the drill bit to start out in the center. Okay, I've got my drill bit in. I've got it marked on how deep I need to go. I've slowed the drill press down to about 500 RPMs to drill this blank. Right, st <clears throat> right straight through the middle. Perfect. Okay, if we, we finish turning the blank, and you can see it here. It turned out pretty nice. You see that blue box elder burl and that black gum. You barely can't see the gray separators. But now we're going to assemble this demonstrator pen from Penn State Industries. And the first thing we do is it says to put the band into one end and the clip slide the clip into the cap and put the cap at the other end see how I want to orient this think right there and I'm just going to press them both at the same time Adjust that to where I'm going to put it right there. Okay. So we're through with that. And that's really all the pressing there is. The rest of this, this kit is so easy. You have, you have the option of using these ink cartridges or the, the pump, and that's what I'm going to use. And what first thing you do, this came pre-assembled. You want to make sure the nib is, is screwed in completely to the section. The fountain pen, it's called a section that you hold it by. And all you do is place your cartridge into the back of your nib and section and I'm not going to ink it right now I'll ink it later and then you insert that and screw it together and that's all there is to the Penn State Industries demonstrator pen it's called that for obvious reasons. The body is a clear plastic so you can see the ink. You can see your cartridge or, or your pump, whichever one it is. It's got a pretty nice feel to it. Seems a little, seems a little top heavy when, when the, the cap is posted on the back feels like it might be a little top heavy yeah it, it is a little a little top heavy but but there it is the Penn State Industries demonstrator fountain pen there's there's the, the demonstrator fountain pen kit 
Well, I hope that was uh, interesting to you. That's a, definitely a different pin kit. And like I said, it's a little top heavy when you put the cap on the back end. It's not well balanced at all. But give it a try if you like fountain pens. I do. I love to write with fountain pens. Now, stay tuned. What's coming up in the future? If, if, you're, if you're a follower of uh, Bob Blanford, RJB Woodturner, a while back, you know, it's been about two weeks, he did a mail call. And uh, he got a package in from Eddie from Colorado, and it was a desk uh, LED lamp with his logo engraved on it. I'm going to show you how I made that for Eddie who gave it to Bob. If you want to look at his mail call and see it, you can. You go back to Bob's channel and uh, look for, the I think, one of the last mail calls. But that's going to be our next video. We look forward to that. Hope to see you with us. Until then, everybody, be safe. Thanks a lot.